My name is Christopher Vasquez. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Ten years ago, this year actually, um, I started working with Equality Florida, the largest LGBT organization in Florida. And I actually went up to, to Tallahassee a few times with them to lobby for the Dignity for All Students Act, which would be like a modern day anti-bullying um, uh, bill that goes around the state's houses now. Um, every year we took about 200 students up to the state house and the state senate and we just went from door to door and we gave them the statistics about gay youth and about uh, their suicide rates and you know we, we tried to convince them there was a bill being circulated by a couple members of the state house and the state senate that would have banned um, uh, harassment based on a whole list of issues but it would have also tacked on um, sexual orientation and gender identity to the end of it. My story continued because I met with my legislator one time and he actually went off on an anti-gay tirade on me. Um, me and three other youth that were in the room. He was probably in his 70s, just this dinosaur of a legislator. And he started talking about how God hates, gay, God hates gays and how we were all going to hell. I think one person in the room was 16 the other three of us, two of us were 17 and one was 18. So we were all definitely youth, um, very young kids. Um, by no means the, the, what you would imagine, the intellectual match for, for a state legislator. And so I stood my own in the room and you know, I didn't let him get to me. Um, whereas my other three friends that were in the room, you know, all left, they were all very shaken by the moment because you don't expect the person that represents you you know, and your government to be sitting there and spouting these hateful you know, lies to you, basically telling you you're going to hell because of a choice that, you know, wasn't yours to choose in the first place. So I thought, and sat through his speech and after a little banter between the two of us, um, you know, I thanked him and I left. Um, the second I stepped out, I, I immediately burst into tears because it was just, it was very hard on me to actually sit there and know that people have voted for this person and this is what he feels and this is how this is a person that stands in the way of, of gay youth living happy, living happily and not you know, taking their own lives. Um, I was very fortunate though because he knew this the whole time, but there was a reporter in the room with us following some youth around for this lobby day. About 200 of us went up, so it was a big deal. After it happened, um, the reporter obviously realized that this would be, you know, you don't every day hear about a politician telling youth that they're going to hell. So the minute we got out of the room, she got a couple quotes from me and she was on the phone with the editor of the Tampa Tribune and the story broke within an hour and a half, two hours, made it onto the Tampa Tribune and within the next day made it into every major newspaper in Florida. Within a week it was on ABC Nightly News, MTV News. So yeah, it made, it made a large round and it continued for several months. The, it, it started this debate about um, not only anti-bullying measures in schools and whether gay youth are safe, but also whether you know, a legislator should be able to, to tell youth that they're going to hell and whether you know, people agree with it. It was definitely a positive experience as a whole because it definitely um, you know, got this, this people talking about something that, had, that people didn't really think was a problem, I believe, by and large. The, the major portions of the population would have never known that, that gay youth were so endangered every day in school. So it, was, it definitely was, was a positive step in the right direction, unfortunately, from a bad start.